is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have two brand new wwe ultimate edition figure reveals to us and it is on the brand new i think it's 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 wwe ultimate edition series 9 i could be wrong about that but i think it is series 9 here and i'm just gonna go ahead and dive straight into it guys we knew that there would be a big reveal today and they did unveil it to us and i'm actually pretty impressed with what we got going on here so let's go ahead and dive into it i told you guys we'd do a video regardless of how small or big the news was so let's just go ahead and dive in guys let's start things off ultimate edition stone cold steve austin here on 316 day happy 316 to everybody out there we have the stone cold steve austin ultimate edition figure and this thing looks pretty damn epic man i am enjoying everything that we got going on with right here i say everything but i'm clearly not saying everything because i do have a little bit of gripes about it and we'll get into all those things about the figure here so let's go ahead and get into all the details guys i mean this thing Thing just looks incredible though I, I gotta be real with you i think all the accessories look great the uh the butterfly joints with the torso looks great i think one thing that uh, we have to get into immediately is that like crazed yelling head sculpt looks fantastic like there's something about stone cold steve austin it's like his head is not like more circular you guys see how the interchangeable or the the one that they usually give him on like all his figures like that straight face that we've gotten for years and years since like 2011 i feel like that head sculpt has like a different shape it has more of a circle shape and Stone Cold Steve Austin's head's more of like an oval shape, if that makes any sense. And it seems like they still have his old head sculpt doing that. And then these newer head sculpts, even the smiling head sculpt on his Ringside Collectibles exclusive figure from back in the day, those figures have the right head shape. Like, that's the head shape of Stone Cold Steve Austin. So, if we can get away from that circular head shape, it really makes for a great Austin head sculpt. So, that's what we got going on here with this crazed head sculpt. Um, I mean, the attire's not much to talk about because, you know, it's, it's Stone Cold Steve Austin, right? He's got the black trunks, the black knee pads, black braces, black boots, black wrist tape. It's not about the attires, Brad. It's about walking down to the ring and beating your ass. So, I mean, I I, I don't know, man. The, the attire looks great from what I'm seeing. One thing I'd like to see is maybe uh, both knee braces included would have been pretty cool. That way you could have the option to do one brace, no braces, or both braces, which is what I like to see. So, both braces would have been cool. Not the biggest deal. I think I do have some extras, but it would have been nice to see that extra brace in there and, you know, add in that extra extra there for this figure but nonetheless I like what we got going on here again the torso looks really good one thing that the I guess I can go ahead and get my gripe out of the way would be the arm size man these arms look super duper skinny like these arms are super duper skinny there's no buts about it these arms are skinny AF so I think one thing I'd like to see is bigger more defined like ripped up arms I think would make this figure look a lot better because when you look at the bicep compared to the butterfly joint and the upper torso it just looks a bit off because it's so skinny however it's still i still really enjoy the figure this guy should be on ball joints hopefully he is on ball joints i think every other ultimate edition is on ball joints i could be wrong about that probably not i i want to say they are but hang on let me look at the let me look at the edge that's the only one i'm i'm really worried about so the edge figure is not on ball joints so hopefully this stone cold steve austin is on ball joints because all of his other figures are not i would really like to see this one on ball joints that way his legs are way more poseable and things like that another thing is jeff hardy when they release his ultimate edition god in heaven please make it on ball joints because his legs would be i was posing around my jeff hardy the other day me and joe were put were posing it around there and i was like bro what like like, he can't even, like, spread out his legs and do, like, those creative Jeff Hardy poses, like, during his entrance as well as he could if he was on ball joints. So, that's just another thing I would like to see from this figure. But, WWF Championship, Austin 316 shirt, microphone, hat, interchangeable hands, and vest with our pissed off head sculpt, our, like, smiling, like, what sort of, you know, like, joking around Austin head sculpt. And then you have the normal straight face head sculpt. But this t-shirt is another thing to behold, guys, because it is, uh, there's no Velcro on this t-shirt, man. This is huge. This is absolutely huge for our WWE action figure collections. Now, I don't, I don't know if this is just going to continue in the Ultimate Edition line, if this is going to be something that goes off into the Elite, you know, action figure line, or if this is just, again, a, an Ultimate exclusive thing. But having no Velcro on these shirts is huge. You're going to have to put it over the top, which is massive. When I, This is just a fun little fact here. When I was a kid, I used to get so pissed off when we would get a Stone Cold figure and it would just have the graphic on the front of the shirt. 
I don't know why, like, my whole entire life, I've been obsessed with, like, Stone Cold Steve Austin's t-shirts. Like, I just love them. I think they're iconic. And, like, every time we'd get a figure, they'd never put the shirt graphic on the back of the shirt. And it used to piss me off as a kid. And then, you know, when they re usually release t-shirts that have good graphics on the back, like all of Stone Cold Steve Austin's shirts have most of the time, and they wouldn't be able to put it on the back because of the Velcro, it always bummed me out. So I'd always have to get custom shirts like I have in my collection. So having this from Mattel is huge, which means we could get even better shirts and more shirts down the line in this exact way. I know that was kind of a veer off the path there, but I wanted to include it. But nonetheless, this Stone Cold Steve Austin looks super badass, man. It's definitely the best Stone Cold we've gotten to date, at least on paper. I can't wait to see what it looks like when we get it in hand and everything and how it feels. I would guess these would be releasing very, very soon. I need to go. They're up for pre-order. Go use MD Toys to save 10%. I really want to put a couple on pre-order, man, because I'd really like to get a few of these in the collection, and I'd honestly like to keep one mock, and I'm not even a mock really collector, even though I'm kind of merging into one, man. What's happening to me? Help me. But let's move on to the next one, guys. We have Ricketh Flair here, who is the other one, you know, they, they kind of disbanded on their current star and legend star in their, in their you know, ultimate edition series here. So we do have two legends here, two Hall of Famers. We got Ric Flair in the house, and this is a really great Ric Flair. I think the only thing that I really don't like about it is the neutral head sculpt or the smiling head sculpt. He just kind of looks ditzy in my opinion. I like the hair sculpt. I think the likeness is there and everything, but I definitely prefer the woo head sculpt over the uh, smiling head sculpt. I'll definitely have my woo head sculpt on display here. Pink robe looks fantastic. He's got his pink boots and his purple attire. He's got the pink knee pads on, or the purple knee pads, I'm sorry, world championship. It does look like they still have the WWE version on there, which I would love to see a WCW version, to be honest with you, but I don't know how they could ever switch that, to be honest. I just really would like to see a WCW version of that instead of that, you know, the scratch WWE logo on this world title. But the Ric Flair looks good. I definitely prefer the Olsen over the Flair. I, I like Ric Flair. I respect Ric Flair, but as far as these two are concerned, I do prefer the Austin. Now, you guys can see, like, look at the Ric Flair arms. The Ric Flair arms are bigger and more defined than the Stone Cold Steve Austin arms. Like, what is that, man? You're telling me you could put... At least they look like... I could be wrong. Let me compare the two right quick. I'm pretty John Brown sure these Ric Flair arms are bigger than Stone Cold's arms, and that doesn't make sense to me. He also comes with the four horseman hands. He's also going to come with pointer hands, and he's got mic holding hands. And for Stone Cold, he's got pointer fingers, no middle fingers. He's got fists. I would really like to see middle finger hands. If you would like to get some middle finger hands, guys, go over to 14fig.com and get some uh, middle finger hands. I actually got some for my Ultimate Edition coming in. I gotta paint them up, though, but I will be using those and stuff like that. I can't wait to do that, man. That's gonna be excellent, but I think that pretty much does it for our Ultimate Editions, man. I mean, I don't really know what to say to you. They look pretty damn good. I'm impressed with them. I think that Stone Cold Steve Austin's figure is better than Ric Flair's. You guys can let me know down in the comments section below which one you guys prefer and all of those things things, but again, I wanted to put this video up, react to these figures, let you guys know. I actually, I was exhausted when I woke up. I, I went to bed at like 4 a.m. and then woke up at like 6.40, and like I laid there forever trying to go back to sleep, so I actually missed the first time they showed them off, so I was very late to the party, but I was about to, I, I had to sleep, man. I was about to fart in a bag and smell it, but thank you guys so very much for watching. Thank you for getting in here and uh, checking out the figures. I think I'm gonna get out of here. Guys, let me know what you think. I think the Stone Cold is superior, and yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much all I have to say guys thank you for watching subscribe to the channel no random shout out because we did one this morning i will get back to you guys in the morning for a brand new video thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video don't cross the line like mdt did when he didn't give you a shout out in the random video at the end of the random shout out where there's supposed to be a random shout out but there wasn't so he crossed the line so that i get to yeah, yeah, don't cross the line. you cross the line i've been beaten broken down